Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Desolation. And today, we're going to get this episode started with a boss fight, which I don't think is going to be too difficult. So we're going to get it kicked off. I mean, this music really doesn't suit the occasion. We're going to leave our horse here, and we're going to head on in to this little building here. So, we are going to be fighting the mayor today so should we get it started or okay what we're gonna do we're gonna wait for it to become night and then we'll sleep and then in the next day we will fight we can't get out through this roof access so we might as well sleep up here i'm gonna there we go we can sleep i was gonna say i was gonna spam the bed until it let me sleep but there we are okay good let's grab this bed we might as well and let's come on down. This music really doesn't suit the occasion, but we're going to come on in here. We're going to open the doors. Okay, are we ready? Hopefully this won't be too difficult. Let's give this a go, okay? We're going to step in now. The mayor approaches. Okay, here he is. So this is him. Mayor Cassidy. How hard does he hit? Okay, not too hard, actually. Okay. Let's, we, I think we can kill this guy. I believe he has fawns on his armor that's what it seems like anyway and he dropped a sword and an axe mayor's lust smite one looting free unbreaking free then he also dropped his the mayor's secretary sharpness free unbreaking free fortune free wow that's pretty good or i say pretty good it's not bad nice okay well that was easy I knew it would be, but that was easier than I had expected. And I mean, I built this up for ages, acting like it was going to be incredible, and it wasn't that good. But at least we got some other stuff, and we can also respawn him whenever we want. Oh, no, we can't! Ah, I see. I thought that we could respawn but no, we can't. Alright, so we can only fight the mayor once, actually. Because I know when I fought the mayor with my brother on our realm, um, he actually dropped his head. So I was kind of hoping to get his head, but I suppose that's just because we had looting free on our swords. That's why I then grabbed this sword, because I figured we could fight it again and maybe get the head, but... Oh well, that doesn't really matter. Let's read this book we got. It's called Mayor's Stash. I left my stash on the roof so that crazy press secretary doesn't steal anything important. Best to keep good things safe. Oh, well. We already found that, so... We can't really... Mm, yeah, we already found that, so... I'm afraid that stash is gone. But the mayor is dead now anyway, so may he rest in peace. We will we'll make a grave for him because we might as well. We've got the mayor's lunch and we've got a potato. Great, why not? So we will build a grave because we might as well. I mean, he is the mayor after all. Uh, so we will make a grave outside of this building for him because we might as well. Why not, I suppose? So, now that that's... Now that, uh, that, 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 I, I, I have no idea what I was trying to say there. Okay, now that that's done, we are going to move on to our next thing for today, which is to tame the fourth and final dog that's hidden on this map. Now, in order to do this, we have to come up this way. There's a stray cat here. We will tame, we will tame a stray cat eventually, just not yet, because, like I said, they're ocelots right now. So I will have to go and change them into cats before we can tame them. So I'll just figure that out. And there's a chest here. Ladders and a compass. I see. Right, well, outside of episode, I built... Th this is also... Okay, before we go up there, I'll get distracted again. This is where the next boss battle is. I'll show you guys briefly. I'll get off the horse real quick. And I'll pull... Oh, I didn't mean to pull that. It's through this door. As you can see, we go down here, and it's down there. So, we will do that another episode. Where'd the horse go? Here we here he or she is. We still haven't named him or her. So, we will 
come on over here and I'm going to show you what I was talking about before. Okay, I built this outside of episode to make it easier to get up onto the highway, which is where we need to be to get to the final dog. So we need to open this and then we need to pull this lever, which will lower this on one side for some reason. Don't know why it didn't lower both, but you know. So, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of cars, right? So, what we're going to do is, hmm, should we, I don't know where we should leave our horse. We'll just leave them here for now. We're not going to loot all of these cars because we're not going to have the inventory space. But we can grab what we can. I'm going to put all of this stuff that we don't need away in there like all of this stuff here. We need the bows, we need the ladders, just in case we need the levers. So we're going to leave all of that there. And you know what? Where's where's the horse gone here? Here they are. Okay, we're going to put that there because we don't want them running away. And I do believe there's probably a lead in one of these chests. So we're going to open them all. We're not going to take anything. I'll take everything. We love spooky noises. They're not as spooky to me anymore, but they're still quite spooky. So I'm just going to open a load of these chests so you guys can see what's in them. We've got our final key, which means we have finally got 10 keys, so we can get the family bow finally. Hopefully it'll be good. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to open these chests and show you guys what's in them. I'm not going to take anything because I'll do that outside of episode because it's easier that way priced painting so then that way I don't have to come around and just you know empty everything on camera because that will take a long time I've got another saddle that's crazy there are a lot of chests let me just put it that way because each of these cars have a chest in the back so there is a lot of stuff we probably will build ourselves a car as well at some point so there is a lot of things to go through as you can see and all of these things are like got different things in them, which is kind of crazy because the map makers have had to go through and put every single one of these items in a chest. I can't remember if I'd opened this one or not. It turns out I had. So we're going to open this one as well. I'm not going to open all of them, I don't think. A turtle leg? I kind of knew that was in there, but it's still kind of surprising to me. I suppose we could try and hatch that in an episode. That could be quite cool to have a baby turtle friend. That could be quite cute. Plus then that way we can get some skew as well. Did I open this one? Yes, I did. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is going to take a while. So, we're going to just try and whiz through this if we possibly can. We're going to try... The goal is to find the lead. If we can find a lead, then I'm pretty sure there's a lead in here. Because I have looted quite a bit of this on my realm. So I know there's a lead in one of these, I'm just not sure which one. So the moment we find the lead, we will stop looting and we will make our way down to the plane. This video is only 8 minutes long so far, so we've still got plenty of time. We've got a carjack and we've got a knockback 2 book, very nice. A name tag, nice, we can use that to name the horse. I also made a few more friends outside of the episode because like I said in episode I needed to get some dark oak wood I traveled um, about 2,000 blocks found an engagement ring nice I did travel about 2,000 blocks to try and find some dark oak which I did I had to go into new chunks to do that and I did I found some dark oak and then I decided I'd keep going because there were a few other things that I liked Havoc's book one Let's read this. We'll read this. Let me finish my story and then we'll read this. So, like I said, I um, did have to travel a couple thousand blocks to um, try and find some dark oak, which I did. So we've got some logs and I got some saplings as well, so we can plant some more if we need to. Got an armor stand. Very nice. So we can... Wait, did I close the trap door again? Yeah, we'll leave that open. So, yeah, so we can replant them, so we have got dark oak forever now, which is quite good. And another name tag. Nice. And I did decide to keep going to try and find some other stuff. I wanted to find some, um, oh, I can see, like a see free book. I wanted to find some um, sweet berry bushes so we can grow some sweet berries because I thought that would be quite cool. Got an 11th key now. 
cool. Okay. So yeah, I um like I was saying, sweet berry bushes, got those. And then I found two foxes and I was like, oh my god, that's great. It's gonna take me a while to get them back, but hey, let's try and get them back to you know the base so then we can have a pet fox. Basically I lost one, only got one, and then on the way back I got lost. Then I came across two llamas sitting on a mountain. So I decided to bring those guys back with me as well. And then on the way back, I found a baby fox just out on its own. So then I also brought that back. So now we have two foxes and two llamas. And basically it took me so it took me an hour to get back to our base because I just couldn't find or I could, I knew where to get back because I took my coordinates, it's getting to night. And I just, I just got lost on the way back. Or I say I got lost. Like I said, I knew my coordinates, but the animals, the animals were being so awkward, it took me a long time to actually bring them back. So eventually I managed to bring them back and now we have them. By the time I brought them back, the baby fox is now an adult, and the other fox is now, well, it's always been an adult, and the two llamas are there. So we've now got two llamas, two foxes. We're going to breed um, the two foxes together to get a baby. I kind of wanted a um, snow fox or an arctic fox, because I figured that would be quite cool, but then I didn't manage to find one, so I just kept going. So we didn't manage to find an arctic fox. I will keep looking. So hopefully we can find one, but I didn't manage to find one in um, the time I was looking. So we've got another key. That's, there's a lot of keys now. Find a load of keys. We are 11 minutes in already. Um, we haven't found a lead yet, which is quite annoying because that's what we're looking for. So, oh, a briefcase piece. Nice. So we can make a shulker box if we find another piece. So let's read this book. This is how I finished my story. We'll read this book. Me is Havoc, Havoc is me. I be the smart in the world. There we go. That's Havoc's first book. So that's Havoc, everybody. I went for a different representation in my um, series. I decided he'd be quite smart rather than quite dumb like he is in this, as you can tell by that book and the way he writes. So I decided to go with a smarter version, which I thought was just a little bit different. So I thought, why not? You know? So we're gonna keep looking. Oh man, this is gonna it's gonna take a while. We might as well take these bones so that we can tame the dog when we get there. And we're starting to get close. We found another briefcase piece. So we've got a briefcase now, which means we've got a shulk box. So we can store some more stuff. There's a katana in there. This is going to get quite boring for you guys and quite repetitive, just me opening all of these. I'm trying to find a lead, because if not, it's going to take a long time to um, get the dog back by it just following me. So, I mean, if we don't find anything in the next few chests, I'm just going to go... Hold on. What's this? I thought there might have been something there, because it just looked a bit strange. There's normally chests, but there wasn't one, so... I don't know. There's a book called food. Okay, let's read this. Jeans are so great. I wear them to sleep in the morning for breakfast. I use them for toilet paper. What's your favorite food? <laughs> okay, so this guy is eating jeans. That's, that's lovely. Question mark. <laughs> Turns out this guy likes to um, eat jeans, because why not? We really aren't finding this lead, and it's going to be a massive waste of time if we don't find it. So what we'll do is we'll finish opening these row of cars. If we can't find anything, we're just going to run to the plane and try and um, try and tame this dog. So we've got another book. It's called Traffic Fear. If I could ever get out of this traffic, traffic, I could make this delivery. Writing calms me, but in reality, all this traffic has me fearful. There's talks of an aeroplane that might be using this road as a landing point. And that is exactly what we are heading for. We've got another briefcase piece. So there's potential for three briefcases. And we've found a conduit, but no lead. Okay, right. 
Well, that's the last chest we're going to search for now. So outside of episode, I'll take all that stuff back. Why is this one open? I don't know, but there's nothing good in there. So we're going to keep going this way, and the plane should be right here. So we weren't too far away, actually. There's zombies down there because there's a crash bit of plane. We are not going to explore the plane in this episode. We're just going to tame the dog, and then we're going to end the episode there because we've done the boss battle in this episode. So, and then we've done a lot of just searching cars. As you can hear, that you can hear the dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and the dog should be in here. Let's open this one second. If I could press it. There we are. There he is. And this little boy right here is Ang. If he'd come out, there we are. Are you going to follow me, Ang? Come on. Yeah, there we go. So this little guy is Ang, the fourth and final dog that we can find. As you can see, this you can see his name now because I'm st standing on this skull. So, this episode has been a little bit repetitive, I know. The goal was just to get the dog and to fight the mare, which we did. I know it didn't take very long, it took a lot less time than I expected. But we still defeated him, and in the next episode, we will explore this plane. Okay, so, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure you stick around for the next episode, which will be out very soon, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!